all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll talk about restriction rules right so probably two or three releases back uh, salesforce introduced restriction rules wherein you can now restrict records or you know restrict uh, user access to the records or how they view and see uh, the records that they own or they have access to right so right now we are in a position where we have set up owd org wide defaults we have configured role hierarchy to provide access on top of that we have created some sharing rules to open up access right but what if you wanted to filter out the access that you currently have based on some specific persona or based on some specific user criteria right in that scenario comes in restriction rules this means access that has been opened up from owd starting from owd followed by role hierarchy and then sharing rules can now be filtered and restricted by setting up restriction rules yes that that can be done now so what do restriction rules do they filter the records that a user has access to so that they can only access the records that match the criteria that we specify or define in this rule right and these restriction rules can be applied to list views similarly to how we have list view filters then you can apply it to related lists the records that you see on the related list you can apply this to lookups as filters then reports and search and also sockle and sossel right there's one consideration right now that you can only do this for custom objects you don't see the restriction rules option on standard objects as of now okay right so let's go into salesforce and let's go to object manager i have created a custom object here that's called article map right if i go to account let's say and i show you that there's no restriction rule option available here right but if i go to a custom object immediately i'll check article map and you see the restriction rules option is available here this is how you can configure restriction rules and yes these are object based per object based right i'll go to restriction rules and you see this beautiful diagram come uh, diagram comes up and this says that owd and sharing mechanisms open up access and they grant you access right but then come in restriction rules which kind of filter the records based on the user and record criteria and they kind of refine the access based on what the criteria is defined and based on this rule you get the filtered records and this result set is nothing but whatever you have opened up in the beginning and then you have filtered out through restriction rules all right i'll go ahead and click on create new rule or you can also click on this button right here i'll say create new rule and this opens up the article map restriction rules window i can define a rule an important consideration to understand here is this particular warning right design your rules so that only one active rule applies to a given user you don't want to create conflicts right you only want to ensure that every kind of user has only one active rule that applies to them or else uh, salesforce might not be able to understand what kind of access or what kind of filtering needs to be done right let's say in one rule you say that if this scenario meets uh, provide access to this user and uh, in another you, uh, rule you don't let that user access if that same scenario meets then that's a conflict right do uh, try to avoid this kind of conflicts and define rules in such a way so that only one rule applies to one kind of user all right so the first thing that it asks is rule name as everything needs a name in salesforce i'll just say record ownership restriction all right and now i'll just say is active equal to true so that the rule can be applied and can be effective Im immediately then comes the user criteria this kind of tells you you need to select the users for whom this particular criteria will apply or this rule will apply right so you have to select the user or you can select a permission or a permission set here all right i'll go ahead into user and i'll say see i have all the fields from the user object right so i'll just say user dot id do i have the id user id equals i can uh, use current user option to find a value right or i can also use a static id here if i have id all right or let's say i want to ensure that this should apply to all the users who are of the type pro of of, of system administrator profile or some uh, platform user profile so i'll say user dot profile equals i'll just say current users profile all right so if the logged in users profile id matches the current users profile id in that case this particular record criteria should execute all right let's say i want to say if the user is from a zip code i don't see a zip let's see uh let's say city do we, do we have a city we don't have city let me find something that's all right let's take a look at department so let's say if the user is from a specific department right i can use department and i i can say uh from the architectural department right architecture design department if this criteria meets only then we should let the user see the records wherein 
I can use a field from the object and I can define uh, the criteria. All right. To, so to, to be able to do a proper use case, let me go ahead and go to fields and let me create a new field here. All right. I'll create a pick list field. I'll say next. I'll say design terms. All right. And I'll just add values. I'll say architecture. intellect capex all of the above let's just say these are the four values i have and i'll just leave this as is i'll say next for now i'll just leave it as is i'll say next and i'll say save all right so i've just created a field that is design terms and let's go ahead and and let's go ahead and create a record in the article map right if i go to the app launcher and i can just find article maps here I'll just create a new record. All right. So let's go ahead and say my first record, my first map, and this should be of the design term architecture. Let me create my second map. And this will be of type capex, right? Let me just create these two records. All right. Now I have two records. And if I go to the article maps, um, uh, list view and I go to all I see both the records right but I am logged in as, as the system administrator all right now let me go back to the restriction rules and let me now create one for this particular scenario so I'll just say map based restriction all right I'll just say is active equal to true and here I want to say that if the user department is equal to architecture Alright, I am not able to change the operator. I can just choose the type whether it can be a static string or the current user information. So I'll just say if the user or department is architecture. In that case, only show the records wherein this criteria meets. So I can have the record field, which is the current record, and I can just say department. What was my field? It was design terms, right? I can just choose design terms should be equal to from pick list. I can choose one value, I'll say architecture. All right. What does this say now? This says that, you know, if the current users department is architecture, show them only records wherein the design terms is equal to architecture. All right. Let's say click on save. So my rule is configured, right? I have one rule here. Similarly, I can create one more rule. I can say design term restriction capex for capex, right? Let me mark this as active also. And I'll say if user department is equal to capital expansion in that case i want to share records wherein the design terms is equal to capex right let's do that so i'll say capex here all right an interesting thing to note is that you know you can only define one criteria you don't have an option to create multiple criteria similarly you don't have multiple criteria options for the record also same for the user same for the record only one criteria is supported as of now all right i'll say click on save so for every new criteria, you need to create a different rule. All right. So now I have two restriction rules created wherein you might have access to all the records burst, but based on the filter, if your user department has a specific value, you'll be able to see specific records, right? Now I see two records. And if I refresh this page, I still see two records. Let me take a look at what the department is for the system administrator. All right. Let's go to users. And let's open Himanshu's record. This is the current logged in user. I'll just go ahead and see there's no department. Let me go ahead and edit the department. And I'll just say capital expansion. All right. And I'll say save. Now, once I do that, if I refresh my page, what do you think will happen? I still see both of them, right? The problem here is system administrators have view all and modify all permissions on all the objects. And that is something that overrides this restriction rule. So it does not apply to these guys. So I'll just go to article maps. And if you see for article maps, the view all and modify all permission is there. All right. So to be able to test it, let's figure out one profile. Let's try to create one profile and let's try to no ensure that profile does not have the view all modify all permission. And then let's go ahead from there. I'll just clone the custom sales profile. I'll say article map profile save all right and here if i take a look at article maps i don't have any access so let me go ahead and give it at least the read access or the view access right so i'll just say edit go back to article maps i'll say read and edit
all right these two axes i should provide and i'll just say save all right now let's go back and create a user for this particular profile so i'll just create a user and here i'll give the department architecture all right role would be let's say channel sales team license would be salesforce platform standard platform user and that should be good all right now let me do something let me remove the department let me save this and let's go to login access policies and let's say administrator can login as any user save i'll go back to users and i'll try to login as map one user right let's try to login and let's see what happens if i take a look at the app launcher do i have article maps i don't see article maps here some permission issue let me log out from this user let's log back in as the admin let's go back to this profile which is okay i have not provided the right profile it is standard platform user right i need to provide the right profile that's a mistake let's click on edit let's go to salesforce i think this should be of the type salesforce right so there are two system administrators let me go ahead and say edit and deactivate this one because i don't have licenses available i'll just say inactivate okay save now let's go back to the map one user and now let's give it the salesforce license and i should see the article map profile here this is the right profile okay let's click on save and now let's go back and log in again let's see if we are able to see the fields okay this is in yeah article maps is here right and if i just say all and go i see two records cool but what if i let's log out again from this user and let's log back in as the admin and let's go ahead to the article map uh, let's go to the user and let's add the department here all right let's add the department and the department would be architecture all right let's click on save done and now let's go back and log in as this user let's go to article maps let's click on all and you see i just see the first record i don't see the second one which has the capital expansion record right so i see the my first map okay it says insufficient privileges let me take a look at why is that so i might not have the read permission so it looks like i'm able to view the record here but i'm not able to open it or you know use it so let's do something let's log out let's provide some permissions to the profile uh, since i cloned the custom sales profile neither lightning is enabled nor some uh, permissions are there so let's go back to profiles let's go to the article map profile let's say edit i'll just enable lightning experience user first of all next let's take a look at article maps so i have let me just give read create edit for now and the default tab is on for this particular user which is fine let's click on save all right and now let's take a look at both our records my first map is basically of type architecture and what about my second record that is of type capex right and my current users profile has my current users department has the keyword architecture on it right this value right here if i edit this to capital expansion let's do that let's save all right and let's go back and now try to log in as this user let's see what happens so if i log in i should be seeing things in lightning yes it is in lightning now and if i go to article maps this time i should be only be able to see the second record 
my second map right so you are not able to see the my first map but if i open this record i am able to see it as well right so we are good now all right so this is how you can now restrict records based on restriction rules make sense great let's to take a look at some considerations here uh, the first consideration is that restriction rules cannot be applied to applied to code that is executing in system context because system context has view all modify all permissions so it, it, it won't you know adhere to your restriction rules so it, it cannot be applied there and the same thing down below so for example for system administrators they have the view all and modify all permissions and if any other user has this permission the, the rules won't apply to them they will be able to see all records all right all right so that's all i have for this particular video I'll see you in the next lecture.